Samogat Nish Jao, or Chief Earl Stevens, is excited. For the first time in living memory, members of the Niska House will see a memorial pole stolen from their community. They are traveling to the National Museum of Scotland, where the totem pole carved in the mid-1850s is on display. Nish Jao says they have a spiritual belief that stolen totem poles are still alive. When they become fallen and on their own, that's when they're not alive anymore. But all these poles that were taken were never fallen on their own. So, in other words, they're still alive. A replica pole stands on the Niska community Laka Zap. The memorial pole tells the story of a Niska warrior, Jawit, who was in line to be chief but died in battle. According to the Niska Nation, well known ethnographer Marius Barbeau took the pole in 1929 without the consent of the Niska house Nishjao at a time their members were away fishing and food harvesting. Dr. Amy Parent is a Niska member and research chair of Indigenous Education at Simon Fraser University. She says the pole was taken at the peak of the potlatch ban and other Canadian colonial practices. It wasn't that we abandoned our villages or that we weren't caring for poles. We were simply out food fishing. And so for us, I think that the modern day equivalent is like us going to the grocery store and then having the government come along and sell your house and allow some anthropologists to come in and take all your priceless family belongings. And then shortly or thereafter, you're going to have church officials show up and take your children away. On Monday, the Niska Nation members will meet with the staff of the National Museum of Scotland. They will have in-person discussions about the nation's desire to have the totem pole repatriated back to their people. Smogat Nishjao shared that traveling to the totem pole has been on the mind of his family for a long time. His uncles had discussions and have since passed on. There's three of them that we're talking about going over to to see the pole or to take it back. But that never happened because they, they're they all gone now. They're not with us anymore. The delegation will ask for the government of Scotland and the National Museum of Scotland to pay for the transportation of the memorial pole back to the Niska Nation. They want to honor their ancestors and have this piece of culture and history so the next generation can learn their stories. Honoring our dear fallen ancestor, Zawit, who was one of our true warriors who died with the honor, uh, honor of protecting our family and our nation's sovereignty. And then when we look to the future, I think we want our children to wake up every day and not to have to search so hard for the stories of who we are. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Lackal Zap.